In this project, we're going to create a black and white landscape using a square tangle. So I have my square and I'm just going to create a border using a pencil and using some curved lines to go from corner to corner. It doesn't matter too much how you curve your lines, whatever works for you. I'm just bringing them down in a wave pattern. And this will give me a nice border around the edge. And I'm just going to ink those in. And the next step is to draw in some ribbons. These are going to break up our landscape into different sections that we can then fill with pattern. Now ribbons, you may have noticed if you've ever looked at them, often when you see them sideways on, they appear to be wide in some areas and narrow in others. And that's how we're going to draw our ribbons today. So I'm going to begin by thinking about where I want my top ribbon to go. I'm going to start here, bring it up and down. I want to leave quite a large space here because I'm thinking of having a circular design here that will represent the sun. I'm then going to have some wider areas and some very narrow areas on my ribbon. So that's my first one. I'm going to have one that swoops up from down here like a hill, meets that ribbon there. And I think, that's, no, I'm going to leave that small gap, bring it down. A wider area up and then down again so that's my second ribbon and then I'm going to have a ribbon that's going to come out from here and have a wider bit and that will help to break up so I've got a, now I've got an area there that's a little bit smaller Okay, so now I've split my landscape up into different sections and some of the larger sections I've split again. I think probably this one I will split too. And I do like this almost look like small pathways. You could imagine those being paths across the landscape. So I might just put one here as well. And those I've kept wider at the base where they are closer to the foreground and narrower as they continue up. So that's my landscape put together. But I'm also going to have one or two things down here that are going to break across the landscape, including some stems and some flower shapes. So I think what I'm going to do is draw a tree like this. And broaden the tree out, that's a bit better. So there's a tree. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shape around the outside of it. That I will tangle patterns into. And down here in this area, I'm going to put a few flowers. So I'm going to begin with, I might have a few stems that are facing forward and some stems that are facing away. So this sort of 
shape. For the moment, I just want to suggest where they might be. So, I've got my landscape shaping. I've got a tree. I've got a suggestion of where some flowers will be. I know that I'm going to have a sort of a cloud and sun pattern up here that I need to give some thought to. And then I'm going to have rolling fields. And the one thing with the fields that I do want to do is I want to think about the shape of things. And I'm already beginning to look at that now. In my pattern book, I have this pattern here that I think look, might look really good in this area. So um, that's something. So I need to create this shape. And then it's going to come, have another one that will come across. And that's better. Make the most of the area that I have to work in. So rather than a straight grid like this, I'm going to draw one that curves a little. direction like so 